Terror in Paris, a story making headlines worldwide, and now an edited photo causing terror for one Canadian freelance writer. 23 ABC's Tuilan Nugent joins us now live with how locals are reacting to a case of mistaken identity. Tuilan? Thanks, Tim. Now imagine this a simple photo of yourself posted to your Facebook page. It's then taken, edited, and circulated around the world with a story that says you're the one responsible for hundreds of deaths. The reality for one sick man and a fear for thousands of others. Our immediate response was we were sad. The altered image of one Canadian man is going viral for all the wrong reasons. Verender Jabal's mirror selfie was stolen and edited. The iPad he holds replaced with a Quran and a suicide vest pasted over his clothes. It does scares because nowadays there's a lot of Photoshop going on and they can do to anybody to spoil the image of the six. Six are very peaceful. A Spanish paper published the photo saying Jabal was one of the men responsible for the terror attacks in Paris. And local six say these cases of mistaken identity are unfortunately not uncommon. And one day happened, little kid come, he's about three year old in my store and I was working and he said, he tell, hey, are you a Osama bin Laden? You know, and that hurts my feeling. As for jumping to conclusions, Mandeep Chahal says there is one simple way to avoid that. What, what I think we want to tell or request everybody is don't assume if you see a person with a turban that that person is a Muslim. And now that photo you just saw, an image of solidarity. The members of the Sick Riders of America say this could have happened to anyone. Reporting live from the Live Center, Twila Nugent, 23 ABC.